Hey guys, it's Jace at Jace Outdoors, and in this box is something I've been waiting for all spring. It's finally here. It is the Cell Link by Spy Point. So, if you guys are not familiar with the Cell Link by Spy Point, this unit you're supposed to be able to connect to any trail camera and it's going to send pictures to your phone. It almost sounds too good to be true. Uh, some of these off-brand cameras I have been reviewing have been really good. And uh, I mean, if I can just send them to my phone, that would be awesome. It is another unit to hook to a tree. It is another set of batteries. Uh, so there are some downsides to it already, but uh, as long as this thing works, I'm gonna be excited about it. So let's see how this thing does. In the box, you get your start guide, antenna, the device itself. It's a little smaller than I thought it would be, so that's nice. Strap, and this is the cord that will, you'll plug this into your SD card slot. So any camera you have that has the micro SD cards is not gonna work. Um, and you'll plug this in to here, and then this will run into your trail camera, you'll close the door on this wire. It's a flat wire, so you should have no problems putting it in there. So this unit takes a micro SD card, the real small ones, and that will go right into this slot right here. It's requiring a two to 32 gig class 10. So you gotta make sure a 64 gig card is not recommended for this camera. Uh, the battery compartment is another, it's so eight batteries. Most of my trail cameras run off of eight batteries. So we're gonna be running 16 batteries at a time. <laughs> I could get kind of expensive in itself, but. So I don't really understand how this battery thing works, it's kind of weird. So you gotta lift this orange button and then push down and it pops out. Kind of weird. And it just pops right back in. Not a whole lot to it. And we will get signed up with the app, uh, get a plan. The nice thing about SpyPoint is it offers 100 photos per month for free. That is really cool. Um, so we can at least play around with it without spending any money. So we're gonna put some batteries in this. So I put the SD card in there. Uh, it has to be 32 gigs or lower, 10 class. Um, and you do have to format that card before you put it in there. You can't do it on this thing, so you have to either put it in a computer, um, or I believe another trail camera, they says in here, just format it uh, so everything's off of it and start with a fresh card. So I know with other trail cameras, you know, using the antenna, you gotta be kinda careful with. Uh, they're very fragile. Too, screw them in too tight, so I was a little afraid to move that, but once you have it on there, this does move, it's just, it made me a little nervous at first to, to move it too fast. So so one thing that's nice with this, it has the holes for a Python lock. Um, so it goes through the, the clip too that opens the cell link. So they won't be able to open that and take whatever's in it. Uh, so that's kind of that's kind of nifty. So then the cord with the SD adapter uh, is going to go right here underneath the camera so you're gonna plug that in yeah pop it in and then screw that in on top of it and then this will go into your trail camera I kinda wish this was longer this cord uh, some of the most of the spots that I hunt, I don't have very good reception, so I feel like the higher I could get this up in the tree, the better it might be, but we'll find out. All right, so we gotta, I gotta download the app, I gotta make a, uh, create an account, password, and all that good stuff. Um, so we will do that right now. 
All right, so you gotta go to your App Store, your Play Store, and search Spy Point Link and install that. Your Spy Point Link app. So we wanna activate a new camera. Uh, you want to ensure you have a um, class 10 micro SD card inserted in camera before proceeding. We got that in there. So the model, cell link is the top one. Next. Ooh, we can just scan it. So there's a barcode inside here. That's handy dandy. And now we got to create an account. So I've officially registered my camera. It'll take a few minutes. I'll receive an account information uh, confirmation by text message within the next few minutes. So I got an email. Congratulations! You can manage your cameras and photos online using your email and your password. All right. So we get a free seven-day seven trial period, uh, and then it defaults to 100 free photos uh, if a paid plan is not chosen. All right, so you get it free for seven days, and then after that it defaults to the free 100 photos per month, and then you can pay for it if you want. All right, so let's turn on the cell link and see if we can get this to recognize. So you just flick the switch over. From what I understand, once these lights stop flashing, it's uh, set and ready to go. So this is your signal strength and your status light is green. I'm guessing the only way you can tell your batteries is in the app and I know from other cameras that's never accurate. So hopefully, hopefully they've gotten better with that. So on the side here in the door, it says insert a card and batteries. We did that. Power it on. Five colored LEDs flash searching for signal. Uh, they look solid now. Number of solid colored lights indicate single strength. Right where I'm at now, I should have full bars and I believe that's what it is. Status light flashes 30 seconds. And then when all lights are off, the cell link is ready. So this takes a little, pretty good while to uh, get ready I guess so we'll wait it out and there it goes it's ready to roll okay so on the the app I have a full signal it shows and the batteries are good SD card has 0% on it because I formatted it so it recognizes it and we're going to plug this in to another camera here and this is a cheap camera so to me that was the idea the beauty of this is that I might be able to get a couple of these so you remove your old SD card so the app seems pretty cool so there's like little uh, like a deer head a moose turkey uh, it looks like a, maybe just a doe the, um, so it might be able to filter your your pictures together that could be kind of cool. I'm gonna just try this here in the studio just while I got everything here and going, but we're definitely gonna get this out on a tree here very shortly um, to give it a real live test. Um, like I said, I have really good reception right here, but where I plan on putting this is gonna be the real test because I don't have a very good reception probably like a lot of you. It's just, you know, you like to hunt in remote areas and uh, we're gonna see what happens. So. I don't know, I guess I need to just <laughs> move around in front of the camera a little bit and see what we get. Mm -hmm. And there we go, so I got an alert on my phone. The date is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. So I need to go into the camera and set the date. All right, fair enough. I'm gonna do that anyways. All right.
right, so just like that, it sent three photos. I got an alert on my phone, which is cool. It seemed to be fairly quick. I don't see the photos yet. Maybe because it doesn't know what it is. There we go. So if you select these filters here on the top, you want to just find bucks. That's kind of neat. I'll be curious to see how well that works, but obviously I just have this sitting at my chest. and. So, so far I gotta say this has been pretty easy. The app's been easy. Um, it was pretty quick to activate. I mean, I really don't see how it gets much easier than that. Uh, it's working right here uh, in the studio. Let's get it out in a, in a real world test and see what it does there. All right, so for me, this is gonna be the true test of this camera because I'm at my spot where I hunt and I have very little cell reception. I think I have one bar on my phone. Um, so if this can send pictures from here, then that's gonna be great. If not, it's gonna be really tough because most of my spots, I, I don't have good reception, so. <laughs> So let's see what it can do here. So when you turn it to on, these lights are going to flash. It's searching for the signal. So, so now it has found the reception because the status light will blink for 30 seconds. Uh, it's in the orange, which is pretty good. That should, well, I'd hope. I mean, it should send them. Uh, they recommend if it's in the red that you have to find another spot, which <laughs> I don't really have another spot. They're like, this is it. So uh, it's in orange. If it doesn't send it in orange, then uh, I don't know. But, you know, they obviously they recommend it being the green. So once these lights go completely off, like now, they're completely off, this thing is ready to go. So we're going to put this on the tree and... Uh, Hook it up to a camera and see what it does. All right, so once you get this on the tree, you wanna set your camera up how you're gonna take the photos, whether what the delay is, your just all your settings. You make sure you get your time right. Um, I have already done that. Uh, they do recommend that you not shoot at a high megapixel. Um, anything over 25 megapixels, this will not work. So when they send you the photos, the resolution gets squashed anyway. So lower your megapixels to like 8 to 10 and that should be pretty good uh, if you have a higher megapixel it's good for high quality uh, but you do have to pay for that um, but it does eat batteries more uh, the higher the megapixel so keep it something low I'm gonna have this one set at 8 um, and just I'm gonna experiment with that first so so when you put your card in you want this cord to run out the bottom. Uh, it is flat. You want it to come out. So with this camera being that it's on the side, I have to run it across this way and down. Um, if you have a card slot that goes in the bottom, they recommend that you make a loop in it like this so it's not going to pull on the card or something can pull it out. So make a loop. Make sure it's not going across any sensors or any buttons that's going to mess anything up. So I'm just going to get the camera set here, angle it to where I need it, and then turn it on. I'm going to run it out the bottom this way. I'm just going to do this in real time, I guess. We're going to walk across in front of this and see how long it takes first to send the photos, if in fact at all. Pull up the app. All right. Doo -doo -doo. So now we wait. I know last night when I was doing this test just in the studio, it took about 30 to 45 seconds before uh, the photos came in. Yep, there it is. So I just pulled the app and I've noticed this a few times. Uh, 
when I open the app, I gotta constantly log in, which is kind of a pain. Again, I don't have very good reception. I have one bar. Uh, I don't like that you have to log in every single time. <laughs> and when you don't have good reception, it takes way too long. So this is... All right, there we go. So it does send the pictures. Uh, if you're at your home and you have better reception there, you probably have no problem getting them. Uh, see if it sends a couple more here. So I'm actually gonna walk away from the camera and let it sit for a minute and then just walk back through, you know, slowly as if I was a deer and just see what happens. Alright, so I'm going to stand here and wait and see how long it takes to send the photo. Uh, I think I'm discovering that you need a good reception on your phone to get the photos. Um, I mean, that makes sense. But So if you're at home and you have reception and you're on Wi-Fi or something, you shouldn't have a problem. But it, it does appear to be sending the photos from just setting it up on the tree. So let's see how long it takes here to send this photo now. So I just close out the app and I open it again, I have to log in again. That's kind of a pain. Just you don't have good reception, it takes too long to connect. Uh, but it is however there. So it got me walking by. So it is sending them. That's a good thing. Maybe I should see if I can find a spot that only gets the one bar in the red and see if it sends them that because it is in the orange. All right, so I'm just a little deeper on the property where I know I have a little harder time getting even text messages out. So we will fire this up and see what kind of signal we get here. So if we can get up to that orange bar again, that would be really good, but, oh, and there it is. So we are, we just have red. Uh, so this will be a good test to see if this actually sends us photos. So I just spent a good part of the day out in the woods at my spots uh, testing this uh, cell link by spy point. Um, and overall, I have to say uh, it's doing what it's supposed to do. <laughs> and I, I mean, that's a good thing, right? I mean, um, that last spot where I was at, where I just showed you, um, I was at my tree stand and it was in the red for the signal. Um, you know, Spy Point recommends to not even put it there, but I mean, that's where I, that's my stand, like I, that's where I want it. So um, I have very, very little cell reception and I wasn't getting the pictures. I just thought maybe, you know, it wasn't sending them. So it turned out the, the photos were transferred. I just didn't have enough cell reception to get them on my phone. So. That, uh, that made me very happy because if I'm home, uh, you know, I got internet here, uh, I should be able to easily access those and the photos will still be there. So, you know, if I'm sitting in that tree, well then I don't have to worry about because I'll know what's coming through anyway. So, uh, so as long as you uh, have cell reception, you should be able to access that. But overall, I, I really like this so far. Um, the app seems to be super easy to use. Uh, no, no issues there whatsoever. The activation was super easy. Um, you know, everything has been good. The only thing I really haven't been able to determine yet is the battery life. Um, I've taken over, I forget what it is, over 200 photos today. Um, and it still says the battery life is at 100%, which ah, I kind of find that a little hard to believe. But, uh, I mean, if that was the case, then that'd be, that'd be great. But uh, uh, with the battery life, you know, these, this will eat batteries a lot faster than your trail camera, most likely. Uh, but there is a setting on your app to only transfer the photos. You can do like one, two, four, six, or 12 times a day, I think. And then, you know, as, as detected, 
you know, instantly. Um, if you just set it to like one or two times a day, uh, it's supposed to save a lot of battery life with this. Uh, you know, summer months leading up to the season, that might be the way to go. Um, obviously, you know, I would think once the season starts, you're going to want to know right away when something's cruising by your stand. Uh, so, you know, maybe you can uh, afford to lose a little battery life during the hunting season. It's be well worth it. But uh, that is my, uh, my biggest uh, question yet uh, remaining is the battery life on this. Um, uh, I, I would like to get a couple more of these, but uh, I'm going to hold off for a little while just because I'm going to I'm going to run this thing pretty good here for the next two months, and uh, maybe I'll get some before the season starts. So, if you uh, have any experience with this and you, you found found something a little bit different than I did, I would love to hear about it. Um, just because I am on the fence a little bit about getting more, but um, so far I'm I, I have seen no issues with this. I just uh, I'm going to throw it back out in the woods and uh, I'll keep you updated down below if anything changes. If something, if it stops working or, you know, I have any issues, I look in the description for an update. Uh, I will post it there if, you know, if something happens. So um, I hope this helps, guys. If you were thinking about it, more likely you already have trail cameras. Uh, this is a cheap way to have them sent to your phone, which is just a really awesome thing. So, uh, if you uh, found this at all helpful, please hit that, that thumbs up button, and uh, I really appreciate you guys watching.